Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how to make these decorative DIY boxes using just the cardboard boxes from Dollar Tree and washi tape. You can use the washi tape from Dollar Tree, which I do like, but I just happen to use one from Target and one from Micros for these. This is also a collab with Kelly over at Retro Fairy Craft Tutorials. We have collabed a bunch of times here on YouTube, and she would be making this banner for scrapbooking, card making, or even for use in your planner. So go check out her video, and if you're here from hers, then welcome. I'm glad to have you, and I hope you stick around. I'm going to start with the square box, just because I feel like that's going to be the easiest. And don't worry about the sticker on the bottom, where we will cover that up if you care about it. So you can use a bunch of different rolls, like I showed in my washi tape. Uh, canvas home decor video but for these I'm just going to use this one for the square one and then I might incorporate their stripe one for their um, like sides. Line up your washi tape with the edge of your box. This might take a few times, but don't worry, washi tape is very easy to pull on and off. Once you get your tape as straight as you can, just cut away at both sides and leave a little bit hanging off and just fold that down to the edge of the box. Keep adding strips of washi, trying your best to line it up with the previous one until you get to the bottom of the lid. This is my lid all complete. I will do the rim of it later and now we're going to move on to the actual box. Here is my completed bottom. I did the exact same thing as I did on the lid and now we're going to do the box. We're going to do the walls of the box a little bit differently. You're going to line up your first piece with the edge of the box and then wrap it around the entire box, making sure that it is in line the whole time and not going crooked. So it's basically one whole piece rather than four separate ones for each wall. Okay, all my walls are now complete, but I did run into a small problem where I do not have enough of my washi tape to complete that rim, but you're just going to do it the exact same way as you did the walls. I'm going to get some black washi probably to kind of accent the pattern and do that. Moving on to the heart box, I finished the lid with the same method as we used for the square box and I'm using a cherry blossom washi tape from Micros for this one. And then you're just going to do the bottom again using the same method and the sides are actually just the same method as you did for the squares. My one tip for the heart though is when you're doing like the little um, indent that kind of makes a heart a heart. I found that it was a lot easier to make a little slit right at the indent and push the washi down in both sides rather than having that little bit of a gap where um, the washi went over. I just noticed that it made their heart shape a lot more prominent. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I do DIYs, hauls, subscription bots and boxings, and some Nico Atsume videos here. Also check out Retro Fairy Craft Tutorials video and her channel. All my links can always be found in the description bar including to my various social medias and my Etsy.